Well, I'm Rich, Rich White. Uh, I'm a sculptor and I'm a sonographer for our style is legendary. I grew up on uh, a little hill in Carlton, which is very near where uh, the play is set. I know all of the locations uh, as I grew up with Dan. Uh, I think I met him in 1981, somewhere around there, when he was still much taller than everyone else. <laughs> Uh, I've tried to make uh, quite a flexible sort of thing, something that the actors can play with. So it involves having a number of boards with scenes on the back of them and they're blank on the front. And they can move them around and create different spaces. They can be lit individually or in little groups. Uh, and it allows the actors to, to play, really, which I thought would be a nice thing because it's such a Although funny in parts, it's quite a serious and uh, quite tragic play. It would be nice for the actors to have some flexibility and to change the space around a bit. You can make things very close to the audience and you can make them very far away. So make it nice and flexible and uh, diverse. It might be the word. <laughs> I think the monologues part of it actually was the bit that really stood out. Was sort of a as you're reading it, and then it suddenly changes to just this bit where they're talking directly to you. And I thought that was, uh, and the stories are good as well. I like that. And but I think um, I've not really got a part. I like the bits where people I know are mentioned. I think that's the, for me. But. Personally, the funniest bit is when characters mention names from our school, real people, and the context that they're used in. If you don't know who they are, the context they're used in lets you know what they were like. Uh, but whereas I know what they're like, it's even funnier. To <laughs> it's, it's nice to hear Gary Landley, things like Daniel Smith, classic. <laughs>